Well, we're in central Minnesota. The Rough Grouse Society crew is kicking off the 2015 uh, Grouse Camp Tour. Uh, something we're really, really excited about. I'm here with Nick Larson. Nick, how's it going? Good, man. How are you? Nick's the regional director for the Rough Grouse Society, and I also have Aaron Regeer. Aaron, how's Good, it going? Man. Good. How are you doing? Aaron's a, a staunch RGS supporter from uh, the Hackensack chapter in Hackensack, Minnesota. Um, as you can see, we had a little luck today. I made an awesome shot on this bird. Actually, Aaron <laughs> shot it, but uh, Aaron made a really nice shot over his uh, English setter's point. This is Wren, and uh, we, we've had some good luck today. We found some birds and had a pretty good day uh, here in Minnesota. Nice weather, and we're, we're enjoying it. What we're doing with this uh, grouse camp tour is we're starting in Minnesota, and we're going to head east. We're going to hunt a little bit in Wisconsin. We're also going to hunt in the UP of Michigan, and we're going to end at the end of this week at the uh, Woodcock Celebration and Challenge in Gaylord, Michigan, which is a, an American Woodcock Society event. Um, what we're trying to do with this grouse camp tour is really celebrate all the things that we love about the Rough Grouse Society and the American Woodcock Society. So we're focusing on creating content regarding membership, um, regarding the hunting experience, and also we're gonna be visiting grouse camps as we go east. So we're gonna be celebrating the grouse camp experience. And uh, I wanted to just ask these guys a few questions about what they love about grouse hunting, how they got into grouse hunting, and what they love about being involved with the Rough Grouse Society. So starting with Nick, how, how did you get into grouse hunting initially? So I've, uh, I've been grouse hunting since I was, well, basically old enough to carry a gun. And my dad and my uncle took me a couple of times um, before I could carry a gun. And, and I remember we were just, uh, we didn't, a lot of people will tell you it's all about the dogs. And I guess I would say for me it is now, but... Back when I started, we just we just started grouse hunting by just walking logging trails and logging roads, and and the first time I went with my dad and my uncle, I was I was pretty much hooked from from then on. So I, I grew up learning how to hunt birds without a dog, and and most of my hunting to date has has been without a dog until uh, about a year ago. I, I finally uh, made the plunge, and and uh, I have my first my first bird dog of my own now, and and I have to say it's kind of a it's a whole new world for me, and and I couldn't be more excited to. Uh, to be hunting with the dog now and absolutely love it but uh yeah my interest uh it sparked early and and i've maintained that passion and and kind of pursued throughout now you know that that passion persists but my new interest and in pursuit is, is kind of all about the dog and i think a lot of people that hunt with dogs will tell you that uh, you know a day can be a complete success without the harvesting or shooting of any birds if you're out in the woods with a friend or two or maybe just by yourself and and you watch the dog work and it there's there's so much more to the hunt when when you've got a dog out in front of you and, and that's what i absolutely love right now about grouse hunting that's that's right and, and same question for aaron how, you know how did you get into grouse hunting initially probably more of a proximity thing than anything else I grew up in southern minnesota and was a ringneck boy for a long time but then getting up into the north woods you kind of forced into that situation being a bird hunter and and do it and kind of followed the cycles as far as the excitement goes when the birds were up you'd have fun but i didn't hunt with the dog back then and then similar to nick once i got her five years ago just kind of lights a whole new fire and you have a whole another reason to get in the woods and as nick was saying too just you don't have to see a bird to have a good day in the woods you know even though it's it's hard to Definitely not necessary when you have that dog in front of you, that's for sure. What is it about grouse hunting and woodcock hunting that you love so much? I mean, what is it about it? I would say, for me, it's it, the challenge of it and the unpredictability of it. It's, it's with, with pheasant hunting, I always love that, and there's, it's always, I mean, it'll always be in my blood. But with grouse hunting, you just, you just never know. I mean, you could walk in on a point and have a bird there and see the bird, and you don't know what's going to happen. They can go up, they can go out, and with any other sport, I've really never found that. But with grouse... It's it's truly a challenge. They're not a, they're not the king for no reason. That's for sure. If if you were talking to someone, um, a hunter, a young hunter, or maybe even a young outdoorsman that hasn't even gotten into hunting before, and you were talking to them about grouse hunting and trying to encourage them to uh, to get involved with grouse hunting, what what would you tell them? Well, I think uh, one of the easiest ways to get into the sport is certainly to have somebody that's been around the block a time or two. Uh, take you out for a day and show you because it can be um you know there's we're, we're lucky in minnesota um and in, in a lot of places there's lots of public land out there all of that public land is not going to hold grouse and woodcock so it's you know it can be maybe at times especially for somebody new it could be a little bit of a needle in a haystack so 
I would encourage you to reach out to somebody that you know or, or you know, have come across that, that hunts grouse and woodcock because that's, you're going to, you're going to, you know, give yourself a head start big time when it comes to learning about how to find the birds and how to hunt them. And, you know, I'll turn it right back to RGS. If, if you have nobody and you have a, an interest in grouse and woodcock hunting at all, your local rough grouse society chapter is probably going to be one of the best places to start especially if you call up and, and tell them that you you want to get involved and and you're looking to get into grouse hunting somebody somebody's going to be able to point you in the right direction if they don't offer to take you themselves i think that's a great point and, and it goes along with what aaron said too um, about community you know if you want to get in involved with grouse hunting uh, the rough grouse society and the american woodcock society really is a great place to start whether it's the ch local chapter uh, the local committee they're going to be more than willing to help you out show you where to find grouse spots show you how to spot cover get you involved with bird dogs and things like that and you can always contact the rgs and aws staff they're more than willing to help you out and with doing a lot of the same things um, with this tour, again, we're going to be continuing east. Um, tomorrow we're going to be hunting in Minnesota, and then we're going to be moving on to Wisconsin and Michigan. You're going to be seeing more interviews like this, uh, photos, a lot of content on Facebook, on the RGS website, roughgrousesociety.org, on Instagram, and also on Twitter. So follow us all the way through this week. And we also have a very interesting membership promo, specifically um, with the partnership through Sport Talk, specifically planned out for this Grouse Camp Tour. So if you become a member uh, for only $35 in either the Rough Grouse Society or the American Woodcock Society, you're going to get a one-year membership. You're going to get four issues of the award-winning Rough Grouse Society magazine, which is the only magazine dedicated to the Rough Grouse and Woodcock Hunter. Um, you're going to get an RGS or AWS bumper sticker. You're also going to get a free copy of the Best of Paul Carson book, and Paul Carson was the editor of the Rough Grouse Society magazine for over 30 years. A lot of good stories in that book. And you're also going to get a chance to win a Sport Dog 1875 um, beeper collar, which is a great um, prize. And we thank Sport Dog for uh, donating that and for partnering with, the, with us on that. They've been a longtime supporter and sponsor for RGS for, for a long time. Um, and you can find all of that information again at um, www.roughgrousesociety.org.